The Lord of the Rings, a movie franchise that's so good, it will never be rebooted. Well, I never said it couldn't be rebooted. I just thought it probably wouldn't work, but I guess we can we can try. This reboot is happening, and we gotta get a good cast for it. And that's what I'm here for. Welcome to the first episode of Recast That. This episode, Lord of the Rings. Frodo Baggins is the most important character in this entire story, so we need an actor that can really pull the weight like Elijah Wood did. With that being said, I believe that Justin Long would be the perfect casting choice for this part. For those of you who are maybe unfamiliar with Justin's work, he's very popular and is most known for the I'm an Apple and I'm a PC commercials, which are hilarious. Moving on, for as important as Frodo is to the story, Sam is just as vital. Because of this, I think it only makes sense to cast John Hodgman as Sam. You may recognize John from the I'm an Apple and I'm a PC commercial. And yes, those commercials also star Frodo. I rest my case. Mary and Pippin are an iconic duo and very important to the story. They have to be an incredible comedy duo. And that's why I think the clear choice for this role are the Wedding Crashers themselves, Owen Wilson, and Vince Vaughn. Can you imagine these two fighting the Battle of Blackgate? They would say something like, um, this is a battle, not a wedding. Now that we have all of our hobbits chosen, it's time to finish up the Fellowship. Aragon is a very easy choice. We pay our respects in this franchise, which means Peter Jackson has to be Aragon. It's the right choice and the right thing to do. Legolas is a much more difficult casting choice, but after a while, I thought I probably shouldn't overthink this. Dylan and Cole Sprouse are the obvious choices, and they allow us to not only have one, but two Legolases. Gimli is another easy choice, Wee Man. Boromir will be played by his meme, so he can attract younger viewers. You have to understand that this is a business. Finally, Gandalf will be played by none other than Sir Patrick Stewart. As many of you probably already know, Sir Patrick Stewart is very good friends with Magneto, who originally played Gandalf. This means that Sir Patrick can get lots of tips from Magneto and really become Gandalf. It just makes a lot of sense. With the Fellowship out of the way, let's do a few rapid fire minor characters. Bilbo will be played by Jerry Stiller. Elrond will be played by Martin Lawrence. Gadriel will be played by Jane Lynch, obviously. And finally, Arwen will be played by Cedric the Entertainer. What an incredible cast we have so far. But you might be wondering, um, where are the bad guys? Way ahead of you. Saruman and Sauron need to have pretty good chemistry as the two main baddies. Because of this, Colin Mulcahy and Ryan Stiles seem like the perfect duo. You wouldn't even need to write their dialogue. It would all be improv. The final character to cast is the one and only Gollum slash Smeagol. Unfortunately, the original actor that played Gollum, Stuart Timothan, died in 2007. This means we're going to have to computer animate him. I've been doing some research on this new technology called motion capture, and this guy named Andy Seacrest is the best guy at it. So we'll go ahead and have him play Gollum.